Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who don't know what the hell you are yet. Hopalong PR here, we are back playing Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Currently at the arena, we're holding the preliminary matches for the martial arts competition. May I see your tickets? Tickets are to the right. Okay. How much are tickets, lady? Welcome to the Grand Arena. Would you like a ticket? Yes, two, please. Um, actually, we're hoping to catch the preliminaries matches if we could. Oh, all right, then. They're already more than halfway finished, though. Would that be a problem? Nope, no problem at all. Okay, bad value, but hey, not my money. That'd be 1,000 Mira. I heard that there was some kind of discount for birthday celebration. I'm sorry, sir. This year, there have been some complications that made it impossible for us to offer discounts. Okay, that's pretty sucky, but what can you do? C9. Yep. Here are your tickets. Two Grand Arena tickets. The entrance to the arena is directly to your left. Share your ticket at the gate. Can we go in now? We have tickets. Thanks. Everything should be ordered. You may enter at your own discretion. So right away. Oh, yeah. That is some epic fanfare. Oh, wow. This room is gorgeous. This is the entrance hall. Audience seats are on the second floor, apparently. Let's take a look. You just want to drool over everything, don't you, Estelle? I wonder... Ooh. I wonder if we'll see Shara fighting. Scara. I don't know how it's pronounced. Give me a break. Reserve guest honor. No unauthorized personnel. I'm a guest. I may not be one of honor, but I'm a guest. So that, that should count for something. Fine, Killjoys. We'll head upstairs. Okay. Let's see who it is. It's gotta be Scarazard. Some serious enthusiasm in the air. Judged by the number of spectators, this must be a major event. I wonder how far the prelim goes round go. Give for your patience. The seventh round is now starting. Oh, wow, looks like they're starting up. Let's go find a place, a seat. Southside, blue team. Border patrol, second regiment team. Captain is second lieutenant Sammy. Is it all of them or just the one? I thought the match was one on one. I guess there's a team outing. Chris Warner was individual bouts only. Red team. Brazer Guild branch team. Captain is Kurt. Hey, it's Karna's team. Wow, we got here just in time to see them fight. I wonder if they're going to take a dive. That'd make a lot of sense so they can kind of, you know, make sure that the Bracer Guild is quote-unquote seemingly weak. This begins the seventh preliminary match. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. We'll actually just get to watch a battle? Yeah, I will. Wow. <laughs> it's it's funny when you actually get the chance to watch it instead of having to, you know, actually do it. By my arts, become hard as steel. Oh, that's a neat little spell. Huh. You know if they wanted to. I mean, don't think it's what they did, but they absolutely wanted to. They could have made more games, like different people during the events. Like they could have made a game just of like Cassius during this time. But then again, I don't think that would be a good idea because he'd be, he'd have to be OP as hell. Disappointing, you only got one of them. Oh wow. I wonder if this is like 1000% scripted. Or if it's just like the enemy just doing its thing in its own AI. I don't know. <laughs> KO! Winner is Kurt's team! Whoa! Go, Karna! Oh, 
it's a good match. Those just move well, but the bracers are better at working as a team. Yeah, we could use their moves for a teaching lesson. I don't know what it is, but watching martial artists work gets me really hyped up. Wish we had put off going to the castle. I would have liked to see this from the beginning. I know how you feel, but being part of adult, putting one little feeling aside for the favor of doing what needs to be done. Well, I like not being an adult yet. Let's upgrade the eighth match. First, would the remaining competitors step forward? Southside, blue team. Team Raven, captain is Belden. That's just a foreboding name. Oh, they're all generic, so they don't matter. So who's the other person? Oh yeah, it's a group from the warehouse district. Oh, I see the competition is open to the general public. Stick out like sore thumbs. They really don't deserve to be counted among professional soldiers and martial artists. And Zane! Another familiar face. Small world, but fighting alone is really going to be a handicap for him. No kidding. Maybe hiding a bunch of punks, but they surround him. He's in real trouble. Nonsense. He's got this. Let's just see him do his magic. Zane will be competing in this prelim with solo with no team to stand by his side. He fights as a considerable disadvantage, but his prodigious skill makes him a match sight to behold. We'll ask all in attendance to understand the arrangement. Got it, dude. Thus begins the eighth preliminary match. Both teams go to your starting places. Ready? Begin. Is he just gonna one punch them all? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate for them. <laughs> Get some punks. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. All right, now finish them off in one spectacular go. Yep. Kamehameha. Down you go. Like it wasn't even shit. Oh, oh Zang. I'll show him what brains we made of. Looks like I was worrying over nothing. His build speed technique makes me real force to be working with. For anybody else though, I'd say four on one is insane. Yeah, seriously. The current match will mark the end of the preliminaries. Eight teams will be competing in the no holds bards match. The competition opens tomorrow and over three days, the ultimate champions will be decided. Now we will hear some words from the tournament sponsor, Duke Dunnan. Ahem. My dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your efforts. I regret that government affairs forced me to miss the first half of them. But I was here for the second half and I saw an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of the recent terrorist attacks had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health. I ask you to take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me, Duke Van Alice, and I'll do all I can to live up to your expectations. Let us all remember spirit and enthusiasm feel this that you that feel during this com competition. God damn it, I can't read. Recall it in the days ahead. Hope you all enjoy tomorrow's no hold bards battle royale. Um I'm not used to hearing the Duke speak so decently to people. Probably just memorize something written by the intelligence division. Uh -huh, yes. The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize mirror, but will also get a special gift from me. Are you certain this is wise? You be silent. This is fine. Not for you to show my generosity. Your gift will be a written invitation to the royal court dinner at Grenzel to be held in three days. Sadly, Her Majesty's presence will be missed, but it will be attended by celebrated persons of great renown. Arrangements have been made for the finest royal noble cuisine to be served. Trust that this will serve as an incentive for those competing to excel in advance. And cheat. Not to mention cheat. Uh, Joshua? I think what I'm thinking. Yes, it would be ideal if Karna got that invitation. If they win the championship, they'll be allowed in the castle, all above board. 
give her the chance to get the message to the Majesty. Or are you thinking something else? No, that's it, but I hate the idea of leaving someone else to deliver the professor's message. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I have no objections. So we should catch them in their waiting room before they leave the arena? Sure. Let's see, Carnosium came from the north gate, right? Right, if they're still there, that's probably where we'll find them. You know, if they're still there and haven't been poisoned or drugged or maimed or murdered. Because that seems to be about the speed of this. Hey dudes, glad to see you're alive. Karna, hi everyone. Congrats on making it through the preliminaries. Hey, it's the new kids. Hey guys. Yo, you to watch the fights? Yes, we had a chance to see yours. That was a great match. Thanks, glad to hear you say it. I don't get the sudden change. I don't get the sudden change to make it a team competition though. Yeah, me neither, it's weird. It's been okay so far. All of our members are in one piece. Master Zane must be worried though. Oh, you know Zane too? I don't know if I'd say I know the name. It's a famous bracer in the Republic. People call him Zane the Immovable. He apparently came to the Liberal specifically to be in this tournament. Then the promoters threw a wrench in the works and changed it from single to team. I'm betting that His Excellency is the one behind the idea. Either way, Master Zane still has no choice but to register as a one-man team. Ah, okay. The Duke is such a pain in the ass no matter where he goes. No argument there. Still, this is going to make a harm for him to show what he can really do. No kidding, it's too bad no one's alright and you could fight by his side. Say, well... Hmm... Maybe. Uh, what just happened? Y'all got this creepy, serious look. No, we were just thinking... What would you do teaming up with Zane in the later, you know, pulled Bard's fight? Well, I... Wait, what? Teaming up with him, is that even allowed? It's not his fault that the rules of the competition were changed last minute. If one of the core rules can be changed, I think we got some wiggle room. There certainly are no other bracers available that we could ask. Shares are busy, and we can't have, we haven't been able to contact Agate. Similar story for everybody else, really. I don't think Cassius is even in the country. Those two teamed up, they could be accused of cheating on general principle. Our chances of beating that team would be something like 10,000 to 1. Anyhow, we should focus on what's ahead rather than what ifs. Find Zane before the day's out, and if he agrees to let you join him, you should probably still have plenty of time to register. Okay. Oops, let's know what's gone. Hope you give us some serious thought, but for now, we have to go. Bye, newbies. Here's hoping we see you in the ring. I don't know. You can kick our ass pretty hard. What do you think, Estelle? Sure went from talking shop to something else entirely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Yeah! Yeah! That's it! That's it! Now that's what I'm talking about! Oh, almighty adios! Thank you so much for your bountiful flavor! You're cracked. Think about it. We can be in the martial arts tournaments. And we can help Zane in the process. Not to mention, check out that awesome castle and be a part of a big, ultimate, super duper intense battle royale. And we can kill three birds with one stone. Uh, you really want to do this that badly. We haven't even entered yet, much less made it to the final match. It would be nice to handle the professor's request by ourselves, though, assuming we made it that far. Yeah, think of how awesome it would be to win. Plus, we can't just leave Zane. In the room. Let's go find him and ask to join his team. Do you have any idea where he actually is? Don't confuse the issue with the facts. We settled down for two seconds. Let's go back to the guild and report back in. It's also most likely to know where Zane is. Oh, cool. You're just going to transport me there. See, yes, Zane requested the bracer send him some helping hands. I hadn't said anything to you guys since you're working on that request from the professor, but thanks to the woman of His Excellency, we can handle both tasks at once. I see his selfishness works in our favor for once. What do you think about participating in the martial arts tournament? I think there is merit in allowing such skill which is participated to be used without restraint. With two bracers team participating, our chances accessing the castle are doubled. You need to get the others involved until unless you lose. Personally, I think it's a splendid idea. That's my kind of encouragement. So I include why I may be a flame Zane. More than not, he's in the bar down the street. Feeling that he's in the Cavalry Republic Embassy senses that's where he's from. We're seeing the same block as the arena. Let's stick our heads in the door at the bar along the way. Okay. By the way, where are you two planning to stay while you're here? Oh, we could stay in a hotel. Let's take the northern block. Holds the largest hotel in the entire kingdom. Yes, Hotel Rhoneblom. That may allow us to cover the cost of your room. Grand's old branch can afford it. Wow, really? It's too much, honestly. We couldn't 
consider a necessary expense in order of completing the professor's request. I wish I could provide more. Nah, room's good with me. Very well, we will accept your offer. I'll book a room for you then. Just give me your names at the desk of the evening and someone will help you. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we're going to run into Neil. Oh, is that a piano? Yes, not just a record either. Sounds like someone's playing it. I feel like I've heard the melody somewhere before. Got a bad... Oliver. Yep. Oh, hey. Oh, joy. It's Oliver. It's always figured your talk of being a travel musician was a bunch of hot air. It's actually pretty good. Because he wasn't kidding. I'm kind of in shock. There's a lot about him you don't know. BT Dubs, this episode will be going on for a long time because I have a feeling there's a lot of plot. That was the number I call Amber Armor. It was originally a simple interlude in an opera whose name doesn't matter. I've infused it with the power of love and devotion. I invite you all to tip your ears and drink deep of that power. I take it all back. He's just a weirdo. Now I feel all dirty for letting that song get to me. I see you again, Oliver. What brings you to Rose City? I could little resist the pull of the place. It drew me here as surely the sirens fallen tears have swept from the rivers to the sea. So here I stand, my raven topped highness, reunited with you at last. You really haven't changed at all. That's enough of you. If I have to be subjected to this, let's at least sit down for a minute. Acting all smug and dandy, totally oblivious to how tactless you are. My dear Estelle, how I miss the obstinate irritability you thoroughly embody. Weren't you a sheriff supposed to be going to Roland? How'd you get here? About a month ago, I believe. If we parted company, Shara and I spent a short yet blissful time in Roland. But alas, the overwhelming spirit of wonderlust that kind of courses through my veins eventually got the better of me. It was all I could do from pull away from weeping darling Shara to resect her from the sweeped away blazing dazzling wonder. What amazes me is that you can actually say that with a straight face. I'm betting you she drank you under the table every night until you decidedly run off with your tail between your legs. Yeah. Then you figure you try your luck at drinking with Anya, right? But you didn't know about Anya, did you, Oliver? She's one of Sarah's closest friends. Works at the information desk at Roland. As far as drinking goes, she's easily the only person I've ever seen who could outdo Shara. Come now, Sister Stell. Never met this person you speak of, this Anya. Absolutely not. You might want to say that again only without your voice cracking. Okay, Estelle, enough teasing. Sure was a very trying time for him. Why does thou, our darkest agent, smile so alluring? Uh, flashback much? So begins the tale of Anya, Oliver's most tragic ballad. Indeed. You come after complete your tour of the surrounding regions, I presume. Mayhap you've seen something of interest? I've seen a lot of stuff, but nothing sum up a few words. Besides, we're kind of looking for someone, so maybe we can catch up some other time. I might inquire who it is. His name's Zane. He's came here from Calvary Republic to participate in the martial arts tournament. We know he spends a good amount of time in the local bar, so maybe you've seen him? I guess they call him large as a bear, with a disposition not to match. Us bore witnesses counter us on several occasions, but alas, today he's no sign of him. So in other words, he hasn't been to the bar. Odds are he's at the Calvary Embassy then. Then shall we proceed there at once? Yes. How is it a matter of course if you come with us? Please don't be so cruel. What? Oh my, such an unsophisticated child. When you blossom to your full potential, you should be a woman to be reckoned with. And quite a desirable one, I'd wager. What are you trying to say? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Estelle. You know, no matter how angry you make someone, you're not allowed to brain them, especially not in public. It was all flash. No impact. I didn't do any real damage. Seems like Estelle was a very shy individual. He doesn't seem to be hurt. Okay, let's get back to searching. We don't have much time to mess around. Let's go to the embassy, okay? Okay, so why is she mad at me? Uh, because you are a man and she is a woman. That's as best as I can describe it. Mm, and we're going to need all of her help to get in. Mm, hello. 
The one notable exception. Every time he goes in, causes trouble. Parties aren't involved in complaining to me. It won't open. Um. I thought that's where I was supposed to be going. Down here, maybe? Yep. Calvert Republic. What's your business here? We're looking for a person named Zane. Can we see him, please? Are you here to see Zane, are you? Have you actually met the man? First time I did, I almost peed myself. I was like, holy crap. He ain't a man, he's a grizzly. He's a pretty big fellow, that's for sure. I call he's a friendly one if you start talking with him. He even gave me a meat bun when I told him I was hungry during my day shift. Yeah, he's that kind of guy. Can, like, um, like a big brother. Indeed. Can we see him? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. He actually stepped out again shortly after returning. Said he had some business to take care of. Looking for a place to meditate and prepare for the tournament, something. It's not getting around. Where do you think such a place might be found? Well, he left here. He's headed for the Arab scenic route. An old forest path, feeling not like a park, for being a monster-infested place with training ground. Okay, got it. Come on, Estelle. Let's go find him. Roger that. Hold oh, on. If you're going to the Arabic scenic route, the thing I need to know. The place is nearby the Arab Royal Val Villa. We heard about that place. I assume you're going to tell us that's been commandeered for the anti-terror division. Good guess. Being creates quite a ruckus over there. Watch your backs. Or better yet, just avoid it altogether. So they're strict, huh? Strict is starting to get real old. Avoidance sounds good. Thank you for the information. Okay. I am going to end the episode here because I know I'll have to fight through the uh, place. And I don't feel like doing it right now, so get to it in a little bit. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.